Hi. Um. Hi. Hi. So it's been like a good three months since I've done anything, and then before that it was like two months. Um, I suck. That's it. I know no one even really cares. I mean, I have like 10 people that watch me. Okay, my friends and family, but, um, yeah. Life has been busy, and I just want to start doing this again because it makes me happy, and it's more, it makes me bake more, and it's just something that I like to do. So, I'm going to stop being a little baby and stop making excuses. I'm going to do it. And for the first video back, it's just something really easy that I did for my cousin Avery's first birthday this weekend. It is just some ladybug cake pops. But they're really easy and cute. And if you want to know how to make them, then just keep watching. Alright, now that I am done rambling, let's get into the video. We are just going to need whatever flavor of cake pops you want. I chose chocolate for this. And I used a cookie scoop to make them all equal sizes. And then you just need to roll them into balls. And I put mine on a cookie sheet and just put them in the fridge for about like 20 minutes or so just until they're hard. And then we are going to need Junior Mints, some chocolate frosting, well I just use chocolate, and then some little bug googly eyes from Michaels. And we're going to be attaching the eyes to the almond or the Junior Mints with a chocolate frosting. And that's it. And do this while your um, cake pops are in the fridge, that way they can harden and be ready for you to dip. Don't have them in too long or the cake pops will crack. Just do it until the cake pops have hardened. And the chocolate I'm using is just a Wilton Red Candy Melt and just follow directions on the back. Here I am just drying off the cake ball to get off any extra grease and fixing the little shape of it. And I'm going to stick my cake pop stick in just a little bit to help it act as glue and just kind of shape the ball again and dip it in just to cover the stick and then we're just going to gently tap and I suggest using a really deep cup for this that way it doesn't touch the bottom and just keep tapping until no excess falls off and then just attach your little base and I just use a small tip and put my chocolate melting candy in there and drew little antennas on and then just drew a bunch of dots all over as well for the little ladybug dots. And you can just use the Ziploc bag and cut the tip off. I just like a more precise um, drawing utensil, I guess. I don't know. But um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you try them out. And I hope you find it as easy as I did. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Okay, bye.